Hi everyone, I am back with another Akashic Story Time. Now, what is Akashic Story Time? It is exactly what it sounds like, and it is a story about somebody's soul history, their Akashic records. And when I tuned in to this person's higher self, I saw a being sitting on top of a globe in the galaxy, in just this dark sky, sitting on top of this beautiful planet Earth, with his legs crossed on top of this atmosphere, looking down at this globe with these beautiful angelic wings of golden light infused with emerald green light, and just this beautiful light shining through this being's skin and eyes. And I was told that this was the person's higher self how they chose to show themselves to me. And they were sending all of this light down to planet Earth. And they were very connected to Archangel Ariel. And when I asked a little more, then I heard that they were connected to the Cherubim Angelic Realm. Now many people that I do readings for lately have specific angelic connections and the cherubim are really known for being a bridge between the angelic realm and humanity and also to raise the awareness of how we have to treat Mother Earth, how we have to treat the animals and plant life on this planet. It's all about reconnecting with the animals, reconnecting with the planet in a more conscious way. And this person's higher self wanted to let them know that they are in a transformational phase and things are moving really rapidly and that he was being asked to release old paradigms, old stories and really step into the unknown. Now this is coming up for a lot of people and usually this comes up in an Akashic Records reading because a person usually doesn't get this type of reading when they are not ready to embrace the next step. What came through next is that this person had a bunch of elemental spirit guides, a bunch of nature spirits guiding him. And the Akashic Records is kind of like a living library. I don't really like using the term library or book of life because this assumes that these things come in a chronological order when in reality it is just like fine-tuning a radio and finding the right frequency. Sometimes I may bump into a lifetime in the Middle Ages first then I may bump into an Atlantean lifetime, and then I may bump into a lifetime in World War II. It all comes as it's supposed to come, and it all comes depending on the frequency of the blocks or the gifts, the wounds, the information that needs to come through for this person. The information that comes through in these Akashic Records readings is always a perfect frequency match for what you need to hear right now. And by hearing about these lifetimes, about these blocks, you unlock little doors as you will inside of you with information that can then start to just find its way to wherever it needs to go in your energetic field. So the first lifetime, quote-unquote, that I saw was this cherubim angelic lifetime. Now, a lot of people are actually, in essence, angelic. We are all angelic in nature. There are simply different layers of angelic energy and frequency that surround source energy. And the cherubim layer is very connected to humanity. After that, I saw him traveling the multiverse. We are not just living in one universe. The universe is connected to a bunch of different universes, to a whole multiverse, through wormholes, through portals. 
and that is where I saw him moving through as an energy and traveling through all these different universes, just gathering experiences, window shopping, basically gathering, observing, seeing what is going on. And that's how he ultimately ended up in our galaxy and saw our star system and how he eventually ended up on Earth, but not before stopping first in Arcturus in the Bodhi's constellation with the brightest star of Arcturus, where he had a lifetime of kind of a doctor, Arcturian doctor, shaman type of person who was very well respected by the elderly people in the community. And the way that I was shown is that it was very similar to the native communities where they still had a lot of respect for their elders and the stories that the elders had to share. And that is what he did. He created energetic medicine and he would go on house calls to all of these elderly people in uh, this star, on the star of Arcturus. And in return, they would share stories and food with him. And after that, he had a lifetime on Antares in the Scorpio constellation. And I always see Antares as a rather fluid place to gather experiences and truly connect with the elements. After that, he had a Pleiadian experience where he connected deeply with the dolphin consciousness. And after that, I saw how he came from the Pleiades and incarnated in Lemuria as one of the first Earth shamans, a true Earth Lemurian, where he was connecting again with Mother Earth and the same image that I was shown in the beginning, him sitting on the planet, sending this beautiful golden emerald light into the Earth. I was shown the same image. This was what he was doing in Lemuria as this Lemurian shaman. And after that, there was a lifetime in Atlantis that unfortunately did not go so well. He was a little boy and had to go underground through underground tunnels into Telos where he managed to assist a whole bunch of people by going through this tunnel and saving them. And in Telos, it's like a whole rescue center where a bunch of Atlanteans gathered and seek they were seeking shelter basically from everything that was happening. There was a lifetime after that, a kind of unpleasant one, as a Spanish settler where he was not really able to be who he wanted to be which he then compensated for he compensated for that lifetime by coming back as a native american medicine woman now all of these experiences are experiences that he is bringing forward again in this lifetime right now and the blocks that came up are blocks that are being presented to him right now to overcome in this lifetime. If you want to hear more of these Akashic stories, I have an entire playlist on my social media. You can go check those out. And if you are curious about your own Akashic story, then reach out to me and see how I can help you get in touch with your Akashic records.